Hey guys, this is Comic Uno changing a review for the Multiversity issue 1. And before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Comic Uno episode 61, and that's the show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show. And here are those exclusive comics. We have Nova issue 20, Daredevil issue 7, and Robin Hood ongoing issue 1, which I also have an advanced review on my channel for, so you should uh, check that out. Let's talk about the Multiversity issue 1, which is probably the most hyped up issue for the week. Uh, this is like Grant Morrison's uh, final farewell to superhero comic books, and he's been working on this for years. Uh, and this has his Superman from Action Comics. There's a lot of different heroes that you can see in the Multiversity. And probably the pre new too, also, which a lot of people are uh, supposedly very excited for. Um, and which I'm very excited for also. Uh, I was actually really looking forward to this. I'm not a big Grant Morrison fan. Like, there's a couple of his works that I really like. Uh, his beginning of his action comics, I did enjoy uh, the New 52. Um, his uh, his uh, All-Star Superman I really enjoyed. But then there's other titles, like the ending of action comics, that I thought was a little out there. So I, I think uh, Grant Morrison's definitely acquired taste. But let's see if I enjoyed Multiversity. Uh, with this issue, we get to see uh, a couple of different worlds come together. Uh, we get to see, of course, the Superman from Action Comics. I'm going to try to find all these Earths, all the names of them. Um, we get to see Earth, like, 27. There's a lot of these different Earths that come together uh, for one common cause. And because a comic book that's being released and you're not supposed to read, that's been a big cause for all of these heroes to come together. And we learn that in one hero's dimension um, is a comic book for another person's dimension. Uh, and that's pretty much what's going on with the story. It's a very, very meta, out there story. So what did I think about it? Um, I know a lot of people like Multiversity. I saw on Twitter. I saw a lot of people like gave it five stars. It was like their pick of the week. Um, for me, Multiversity was <laughs> a little bit too much out there. Uh, I don't know. I'm really torn about it. Because you can see that Graham Morrison just had a lot of meta stuff going on here. Like, the way you read the narrations. Like, you're reading this. You're controlling everything. And it, it felt like he really picked a part of how you read a comic book. Which I was very impressed by. But concentrates so much on being meta, being out there, I don't think he concentrated enough on these characters and what he's truly trying to tell. Uh, and I thought that was the biggest problem of this issue, is that I don't know what the story is truly about. I don't. It's about this comic book, they're all coming together, and everything felt very rushed. I think they should have focused on one Earth for the first issue and then go into these different Earths, because I think it just was too convoluted, this issue, and there's just a lot going on. Um, and it's an expensive issue. Not, you know, there's so much going on that nothing happened. That's the bit, best way to put it. Um, I don't think I got enough out of the story because they're trying to introduce all these characters. They're trying to be so meta that it kind of lost its purpose. And I felt that a lot with Multiversity. So I was actually really disappointed because I was looking forward to Multiversity, just seeing all these different heroes and seeing a lot of diversity, which you see a lot of. So you see a lot of diversity. You see a lot of meta things. So a lot of things that people are excited about, but they didn't. I don't think Grant Morrison did it correctly in this issue, in my tasting. I know a lot of people like Multiversity, but for my tasting, I couldn't enjoy the issue because there's just too much going on. So artwork was pretty good, but I have to give this worst pick of the week. I just did not enjoy it. I don't even know if I'm going to get the second issue. i got to see the week, what people think. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get the second issue because I just didn't like the first issue well enough. So I'm going to give this two stars. I just didn't like it. I don't know. It's just, it's really out there. Um, which again, Grant Morrison's a very acquired taste. Uh, a lot of his work is just not acquired for my taste. So, hope you guys enjoyed though. Please tell me in the comments below what you thought about Multiversity. Please don't forget to follow me on Twitter for comic and know and the rant situations. And don't forget to like my Facebook page. And uh, don't forget to let, uh, also check out my comic book website, like Father Like Daughter, to learn about, more about my own comic book. All those links will be in the description. So hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and don't forget, yeah, I already said all that. So <laughs> bye guys. It's Comic Good Now.